Joe says Jessica is far too flashy. She's a total exhibitionist. She likes I the attention. Don't. But when he had a blind date, she lost his virginity at body shots. <laughs> he was the one putting on a show. Click something, buddy. Meanwhile, Jessica was the center of attention on her date. She goes, I want to ride that. I wanted to just give everybody a good ride for their money. Now that a new guy has fallen for her, I'm just hoping he's not that quick in bed. Will their show go on? She's a total exhibitionist. Or have a change of heart. What? change of heart let's meet today's couple now they met each other uh, while waiting tables at a popular restaurant they couldn't take the heat so they got out of the kitchen and wound up in the bedroom of all places yes for the past four months now they've been the only thing on each other's plate please welcome joe matthews and jessica nordle welcome to the show <laughs> jessica let me start with you what do you find most appetizing about joe um, I think his sense of humor attracted me to him. He's just, it's like an Adam Sandler movie every day. It's stupid humor, but it's silly and it's funny and I'm never bored. I'm always laughing. And, and that works for you? It does. I get uh, I get bored very easily. Right. So. And Joe, what is it about Jessica that matters most? It's her calming sensibility. I stress out a lot, especially at work, and she's mm. able to give me a hug or a kiss and I calm Aww. right back down. It's, it feels really good. Mm. Now, Jessica, you, you said you love his sense of humor, mm -hmm. but are there things that he does that, that just aren't so funny? He is the world's biggest tightwad. Whoa, he, whoa, wait a second. I don't know what you're know. talking about. We hey, go, we I take you out five times everywhere. a week. Yeah, and I pay for myself. Well, good. I pay for myself. What's wrong with that? There's no ring you on my finger, me. okay, baby? You so can relax. Treat me to a nice dinner once in a yeah, while. Yeah, and what, what did we do in San Diego? I don't want to even... Yeah. And he's Whatever. treated once, finally, he, out of five once, times. Once, once, and I think yes. he's afraid I'll have a change of heart. All right, Joe, if no. that bothers her, uh, what is it that she does that gets under your skin? She's a total exhibitionist. Oh, she prays. I am not. She's around the whole time Just naked. Because Everybody I don't in the complex the has blinds. seen you Doesn't half mean naked or I totally naked. You had to you, put a pillow over yourself the other day to go to the bathroom. Not me, that's you. You moved no. the, you well, the old lady. You moved the old lady. That's all I know. But, Joe, why doesn't she close the blinds then? She likes I the attention. Don't. She's a, I, no. You don't think of it or just I just don't think of it. It's yeah, too you much don't work. think. That's no. the thing. Which oh, is, no, no. I didn't say that. Okay, I didn't say Now, that. Joe, no. when she is wearing clothes, how would you characterize her style? She dresses like a dirty little whore. <laughs> <laughs> This is okay. She's, no. she's got the little pump sound. I, I feel like her pimp. Stylish. I feel like her pimp. Half the well, you time. certainly don't buy me anything. <laughs> yeah, really? I'm trying stylish. to sell you, baby. No, very this is stylish. stylish and trendy. He wears these weird Hawaiian shirts. Hey, very flashy. I gotta, get, I gotta get people to start noticing you. you no, know? your mouth n gets you noticed. Yeah. Now, Jessica, when it comes to sexual matters, how would you describe Joe? He is the king of porn. He Whoa. has. No. I can't even yeah. describe. What's wrong with a few pornos? Has. You have women pinned up in your bathroom. What's wrong in your with that? Room, hey, it's a bachelor pad. I'm not it's, Larry Flynn, okay? No, so no, take no. it easy. It's disrespectful. To who? Yeah, but that Us, was going to be my point. Isn't, it, isn't that no, a little disrespectful no. to her? It is. A little bit. It's just, really well, okay, he'll give you a little okay, bit on that one. A little bit. Jessica, everybody's got limitations, granted. Now, what are some of Joe's? Oh, God. He, he's just. <laughs> He can't even walk and chew gum at the same time. Hey. He, no, How can I work. walk and chew gum with you nagging me at the whole work. time? Hey, I want to go here, no. I want to go there, you slow down, you're driving to too he fast. He can't concentrate on more than two things at a time. Sorry, maybe. If he's on the internet, no, I, checking his stuff. Yeah, do I need you, you to talk to me the whole time? I can't get a word in. Do I can't I have, even ask you a question. What do you why do you need to constantly ask me a question? I'm trying to make you breakfast and I can't even... I can, I can make myself no. breakfast? You, yes, and you will. Okay. No, hang on a second. Joe gets confused easily. So, Joe, yes. uh, she's been busting your chops a little bit out here since we've been talking. Is she the aggressor in the relationship? Definitely not. She is a total turnoff. She's I so submissive. She is so submissive, it's a turnoff. Because I'm nice and I like to do nice things uh, for people, that makes me I walk submissive. all over you sometimes. You're right. You, no. the, the, pizza boy push, the pizza no. boy pushes you around. He came two no hours what? late. <laughs> you gave him $4 and you apologized for giving him the what right address around, and he couldn't find the address. Around. If you're nice to somebody, they'll be nice to you in return. No. She's just trying yeah. to, yeah, good karma she's trying yes. to spread. Yes. All right, Jessica, okay. what prompted you to come on the show today? I'm thinking about maybe moving in with him. I have a big fear of commitment, so I've never lived with anybody before and some of his habits... I don't know about and yeah, I just want to make sure Yeah, those porn posters and all yeah, that stuff. I don't, I don't want any trashy women on my walls mm -hmm, and I just want to make mm -hmm. sure he's the right one for me. Yeah, okay. Understandable. That makes a whole lot of sense. Now, hang on cuz when we come back we're going to find out about the dates and what did Jessica straddle on her date to earn her 20 bucks? We'll tell you when we come back. Find out next. Joe and 
and Jessica. Now, Jessica describes Joe as a cheap Larry Flint who can't walk and chew gum at the same time. So we hooked her up with a generous guy who's no hustler but can guarantee his girl a good time. Please welcome DJ Kilmartin. DJ, let me start with you because Joe was complaining about the way Jessica dresses. She says it's too provocative. What was your first impression? Not at all. She, the first time I saw her, she had a little spandex top on, little shorts. She was looking saucy. So you had no problems there whatsoever? Not at all. Saucy. And Jessica, what about DJ when you saw him? DJ was pretty... He was yummy. He was... Yeah. Yeah. He was what yummy. What is that? Yummy, like good to eat. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yummy. He had nice bright blue eyes. He had a very yeah. great sense of fashion. He knew what? how to dress unlike Hawaiian shirts that you usually who, wear. Who doesn't like Magnum? Who doesn't like Magnum P.I.? I never huh? watched that show. Hey. <laughs> we are in the 90s, okay? That was yeah, way, what? way hey. Yeah, that was back in the day, Joe. Hey, now, what Jessica, what about DJ? How did he set the tone for the date since you guys were going to be spending some time together? Um, initially, I went to shake his hand, and he just came right over and gave me a big hug and it just uh -huh. his shoulders just felt big and strong around me and it, it was very comforting. So you felt good? Yeah. He was giving did you a nice squeeze? Did you feel any jewelry that was on you? Did, you? did you go through any metal detectors? No. Or any of those things going on? <laughs> that was unnecessary. Now DJ, what were the plans for the date? Uh, we had the day planned to do a little rollerblading down at the beach and I sort of mm -hmm. strategically had her in front of me the whole day so I could just scope her out in her spandex. She looked good. Uh oh, yeah. smart guy, letting her leave. Yeah. Now, Jessica, it sounds like it could have been a little bit romantic. Were you mm -hmm. having some romantic thoughts at any point there? Um, on the car ride over to his house, right before we went to uh, rollerblading, he was talking a little bit, and I have a tendency to watch people's lips when they talk, and he, I don't know, the way his lips were moving, I just was wondering what it would be like to kiss him. So. What are you talking about? This guy? I, I do hey. that with everybody. You do that with Guido the pimp over here. Is that what you're doing? Yeah. He's supposed to have. Now, Jessica, let me ask you. You, you complain about Joe's place, you know, mm -hmm. his bachelor pad. What about DJ's? Did you get a look at that? His was his was nice and clean. Neat, neat and clean. No trashy pinups of what? trashy what girls. Is he a, what is he, a eunuch? No. <laughs> Listen, the quiet, silent types, those are the ones you got to watch out for, okay? Hold up, Joe, because I, I got to ask DJ about another one of your complaints, because Joe was saying that she's an exhibitionist. DJ, did you get any sense of that on the date? I guess I missed out because I sort of, I sort of would have liked <laughs> to see it, but when she was getting dressed, she closed the doors and she was shy. Yeah. Yeah. See, yeah. there you go. So yeah. she was a little yeah. shy. All right. Now, DJ, what about while you were there? Anything else that caught your eye? Uh, actually, when we were walking up to her apartment, I saw the jacuzzi. Made a quick little comment that maybe we'd end up there late night. Got to lay the plans early, oh, right? Uh -oh. yeah, Joe, have you oh, been late right. night in the jacuzzi with her? No, not no. yet. It's a little too cold for her outside. Oh. Uh, okay, I, Je I can warm her up in the bedroom all, oh. all without the help. Of the jacuzzi, okay? <laughs> now, Jessica, you got all dressed up. Tell us where you went. We first went to a nice romantic dinner. We were at dinner, and it was candlelit. Everything was very romantic, very nice. He. He actually used a fork and knife. When I go out with Joe, Joe needs a shovel to eat his food. Hey. He, he when I go to a place, I'm hungry, I want to eat. I don't want to talk, I want to eat. You can't even and not bother. And Jessica, the other thing, well, the other thing about Joe, you said he's kind of cheap when it comes to money. How was DJ? DJ, he didn't have any problem spending money. He spent fifteen dollars just on parking alone. When Joe, you, Joe would this, never this spend fifteen dollars. This man is Mr. Trump. Hey, I'd rather park right outside. Hey, if you can't walk on one block and save fifteen dollars and put that more money towards Dutch. your date, no, that's fine. No. Right, now, DJ, I understand you guys went to a nightclub afterwards. Anything surprised you at the bar as far as Jessica was concerned? Well, we were sitting there sipping a cocktail, and all of a sudden she turned around. She goes, "I want to ride that," and it was a mechanical bull. I was like, "Whoa!" What is this? I do that. All of a sudden, these biker guys are offering her twenty dollars to get up on the bull. It was I crazy. See. And this I, is I what she straddled. Now, Joe, you're kind of frugal. Would you spend twenty bucks to see her ride a bull? No, no way. Not, not in a million years. I can watch her ride the ride the sofa couch naked for free every oh, night. Oh no. no. So no. Jessica, did you take the bull by the horns then? Come on. I I just wanted to go nice and slow. Slower is more sensual and sexual, and I wanted to just give everybody a good ride for their money. And I understand okay. we actually have some footage. Joe, you're gonna see this for the first time. Right. Here she is, Jessica uh -huh. riding her bull. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. Riding the bull, what does it look like I'm I hope you got tipped after that. All right, Jessica. Now Jessica, you're having a good time. Did you talk DJ into getting up on that thing? He 
he wanted to go up instantly. He was kind of cocky about it. He wanted to go on the highest level, and he just insisted <laughs> on doing his own thing. And yeah. All right, you went yeah. slow and smooth. Now let's take a look at DJ up there on that bull. Here we go. It thinks ready to shoot off. <laughs> DJ riding it. And oh! <laughs> DJ, Jessica, what do you think of his ride? I'm just hoping he's not that quick in bed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, DJ, how'd you outdo yourself after that? Uh, we went to a dance club, and we were just dirty dancing all over yeah! the time. Yeah. Yeah. Getting your groove on? He's got the moves, bumping and grinding. And really? He's just, he has rhythm. Yeah. Uh, Jessica, sounds like you guys are having a great time. Were there any disappointments at all? When we were parking, or he was parking the car to go to the club, he had to do nature, and he ended up peeing in the bushes, which I... <laughs> <laughs> that you can't hold it five seconds? That on a first date did not Not a good speaker. move, yeah, huh? Surprised. Oh. All right, sometimes that's, a guy's gotta right. go. I understood. So, you know, DJ, go, did things but... end at least on a more positive note? Uh, we went up to her apartment, and um, just gave her a big hug and a kiss, and she was like... A lot of girls just throw themselves at you, but she was nice. So it was very respectful? Mm -hmm. and, and, and you not thought like she was a little different doors. than what you're used to? Is that what you're saying? She had a lot of morals. A lot of morals. Yeah. All right. And now, Jessica, Thank you've you. been thinking about moving in with Joe. Mm -hmm. Now, who would you say would make a better roommate, DJ or Joe? Um, maybe DJ's probably more handy around the house. He actually probably knows how to fix cars. I don't know cars. what you're talking about. Hey. He at least well, knows was, where his windshield new... washer hey. fluid goes Whoa. in the car. Hey, hold on. Who how bought... do I know you know how to change who bought a light bulb? Who bought that table for you yesterday? Who, who assembled no. it last night? No, no, Me. no. Me. You don't even know how to boil water. Oh, hey. uh, Joe's so oh. handy. All right. Next, we're going to meet Joe's date. We're going to find out why in the world did he lick her belly button clean. That's next. Stay tuned. All right, we just heard what happened on Jessica's date with DJ. Now let's meet Joe's date. Now, Joe complains that Jessica parades around her apartment nude, but when she finally gets some clothes on, she has the style of a tramp. So we set him up with a cute little hairdresser who's more lady than tramp and has so much style, she decided to make it her business. Please welcome Heather Hogan. with you what did you think of heather after you were talking to her on the phone she she had a super voice almost sounded like a phone sex operator not that i, <laughs> not that I know what that sounds oh, like oh yeah right yeah. all she needs I, is a whip now with that little thing around her neck yeah hey, relax okay cool your jets all right for once please Fine. so heather tell me did the date start off on the right foot when you well, guys got together well actually joe was late because he had to take what's mm, her name to work <laughs> actually throughout the date he referred okay. to her as what's her name um mm -hmm. she didn't have a nice. car so he had to take her to work it was about halfway through the date I learned her name was Jessica. Oh, so it took a little while. Yeah. Now, Jessica, how, how, how does that make you feel that she's referring to you as what's her name? He, he does that sometimes. It's not it's not a surprise. He does it to his friends and whoever he meets. And I'm so just no, it's not that even, bad, okay? No, hey, I don't even get a name. All right, so Heather, how did he... Better how did, than Dirty Whore, I guess. Oh. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely Heather, how did right. he make up for it uh, once you guys got together? Oh, he brought me this huge bouquet of flowers. It was beautiful. Oh. Oh. Flowers, my well, favorite. And he Jessica, how often does he brought he, you flowers? He never brings me flowers. In fact, that Hey, I come home that every night. That should be good enough, huh? You stole from me and no, knows no. where the flowers that DJ gave me. Hey, whoa. <laughs> you took my flowers no, and gave no. them to your date? I, I had you a, took them while you were a I had a date. <laughs> you are a hockey. Yo, no, you are cheap. Game over. Hey, I had to take her to work. She it's was running late. No. I took her to work. She said, hey, why don't you take the flowers? Oh, I don't like right. the Yeah, her suggestion. They weren't I my type of flowers. I like All right, anyway. nothing wrong with regifting on occasion. <laughs> Joe, did Heather look as good as yeah. she sounded on the phone once you met? Better. Dangerous curves is all I saw. <laughs> Perky boobs. Uh, Jessica, she's kind of like a toothpick, but oh. <laughs> Heather had it all going on. Good things basically. come in small packages. Heather, let me ask you, because uh, Jessica was complaining about his Hawaiian shirts that he wears mm, all the time. Was right. he wearing one for the date? He was. Probably. It looked cool. He had it, a Hawaiian no. shirt on, That's and he wore cool. it with these it's tight just... pants. Yeah. And Chris, I thought he was smuggling salami in. <laughs> <laughs> you did. Oh, my. What are you doing looking at that? I don't know about that, Heather. Uh, <laughs> So, yeah, Joe, what yeah, about yeah. Heather? Was she... Sick fantasies with his point. Yeah, he's a little out there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Joe, was Heather less of an exhibitionist than uh, Jessica? Not really. I mean, she told me she had this tattoo on her ass, and yeah. I was like... Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I, I'd That's like to really take a look. That's really on a first well, date. Well, so hold on. Slow down, baby. So oh. she, she showed me a real quick glimpse of the tattoo on her right butt cheek and said, Excuse faster, me. and that yeah. was pretty nice. Faster. Some men need a little help. 
<laughs> now, Heather, besides the flowers, did you get to see the real frugal did side of Joe that her? we've heard about? I sure did. Um, actually, the date, Joe made it clear that everything was Dutch. Yes. We split oh, it with 50 Always 50. Dutch. It's, it's, I even had to make always a quick stop Dutch. to the ATM after dinner before nice. I went to have cocktails. It's not that bad. Yeah. It's not that bad. Oh. Now, Heather, did that bother oh, you that the that. money was an issue? No, it's cool. I'm a hairdresser. I meet so many different types of people. It's just one of those things. He's yeah, just another cool. type. Exactly. He's just a type. Now, Joe, things hey, seem a little relax. shaky at that point there. Any romance at all? Yeah, I held her hand, the music was going, we had eyes locked, and um, I even showed out five bucks to get this picture taken from, from the photographer. Oh, yeah. well, let's see what he spent his five dollars on because we have that picture. Let's take a look at that if you look at the monitor. There they are. They are nice and cute. There's the Hawaiian shirt that we heard so much about. Mm. Nothing now, Heather, Jessica says Joe can't walk and chew gum at the same time. What was your take on that? Well, I decided to put him to the test. Joe had never done a body shot, so I decided to walk him over to the bar, and he lost his virginity at body shots. <laughs> oh, really? Now, <laughs> Joe, for those of us that don't know, explain the body shot. Please. Well, you, Heather gets up on the bar, she undoes her pants, lifts up her <laughs> shirt, put a little salt near the navel, a little tequila in the navel, oh, lime man. in the mouth, and lick, suck, <laughs> and bite. And there you go. I thought this would be funny because, well, hold on, because if, if everybody's still not clear about how this works, Joe, I happen to have a salt shaker and a wedge of lime. Heather, Heather, if you would, would you assume the position, please? So we can all take a look at how this works. Okay. There you go. A little bit of lime, a little bit of salt. And there you go. Very nice. All right. <laughs> Joe, have a seat again. Uh, and there, ladies and gentlemen, is your body shot. Uh, so things are getting a little crazy at this point. Any other wacky ideas that were going on? Well, I kept thinking about the tattoo on her ass. I said, hey, why don't we get a Sharpie and we'll tattoo each other's asses? <laughs> oh, well, why not? Exactly. <laughs> nice. And Heather? So did you? Yeah, right. Well, when we what? got back to my place, unfortunately, the roommates were home, so we had 86 to Sharpie ID and yeah. order a pizza instead. Mm. So you end up with pizza. Yeah. yeah. Now, Joe, well, what about uh, the differences too. between the two women? You said she's too submissive. What about Heather? She's pretty outgoing. Whatever she wants, she grabs. <laughs> uh, well, she took then. my hand. Um, she, That's all she better be taking. <laughs> <laughs> They're little opposites. So I see. And Joe, how did things wrap up finally? Well, I was sitting there on the couch, we were watching a little TV, and I was, was going to try to make a move, but the roommate was sitting at the end of, other end of the couch, anchored. Would not move, so I figured, hey, okay. Damn roommates, I'm telling That's you. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. So I gave her a hug, and I say, it's nice meeting you. And I told her, have a good night. Aww. So that's how it ended? Yeah. All right, well, now, did Heather's body shot kill Jessica and Joe's relationship? That's what we're going to find out next. Stay tuned. <laughs> And Joe have been dating now for four months. They're considering moving in together. They came on the show today to find out if they should be moving in or moving on. So let's see what they discovered. Joe, we're going to start with you and get your decision first. You've had four months of ups and downs so far. So we sent you out with Heather. You guys got a little crazy. You had the tattoo, the body shots that we saw here. Your decision, what do you say? It was good, it was good to see that I could trust Jessica out on her date. Uh, Heather, the tattoo, faster on her ass. <laughs> yeah. She's a little... She's a little too fast for me, so I'm gonna have to stay together. Oh, stay together. All right, Heather, sorry things didn't work out for you. Jessica, Joe says he wants to stay together. You said you're getting a little tired of putting up with some of his crap and some of his nonsense, so we yeah. sent you out with DJ. You guys had a good time. He spent the money on you. He gave you the respect. You got the bull ride, the whole works. What do you say? Um, I, going out with DJ gave me a chance to see what everything else was like, and it made me realize that I'm not ready to move in with Joe yet. And I am willing to work on things, though, so I'm gonna stay together. Stay together. <laughs> DJ, sorry things didn't work out for you. Joe, Jessica, congratulations by coming on the show. Well, <laughs> you may not be ready to move in, but hopefully you resolve some of those issues here today. And that is our show. Thank you, uh, DJ and Heather, and also to uh, Jessica and Joe. We'll see you next time on Change of Heart.